Okay, here we are with the new swivel. Um, just show how the swivel swivels. It's beautiful. Okay, we have three positions like in our original swivel. As you can see now, we're going to go use it in our regular position. Okay, our regular position, you can just clamp as normal with regular clamping pressure. We don't lose any clamping pressure from the um, adding in this element. Um, now what we're going to do is show how um, you've got a deeper throat on this clamp than you do on most um, clamps of this size. Normally you'd have a problem in um, using, getting that, something that deep. Here we've got like a step over clamp, as you can see it comes in from the side and it gives you a lot more depth than what you would normally have. Um, it also gives you the ability, because it, you've got a bit of play with the swivel, it gives you the ability to clamp um, almost like a pivot you've got the ability to clamp things that aren't exactly straight or parallel. The next position, we've got the swivel. Um, we've now we're going into the V-groove. So you come along, you've got something that's similar to a pipe. You can lie it down. Very, very big pipe with a big diameter. You lie it down and you can glue it very, very easily. Stick it down and you can start working with it, either gluing it or cutting it or um, painting it, whatever you want to do. The third option for the swivel head is the Y clamp, which can also be used for clamping wide surfaces and also for working on corners, as you can see here. So to summarise, we have the clamp that can do three things. It can firstly be used as a regular clamp with an extra step over. It can be also used for clamping down um, pipes or round um, materials. And the third thing on the same clamp is also being able to work with um, a Y function and also to work on corners. Thank you very much.